In this video, I will show you how to fix the issue of no python interpreter in PyCharm for any python project. As you can see, this no interpreter is written here and here also you will see this error no python interpreter configured for the project. So we will see how we can fix this issue. And do hit the like button if you find this video useful. So now to fix this issue, first of all, we will look for this option which is present in the bottom right corner where this no interpreter is written. Now we will click on this option which will open up a set of options for us and here you will see this this interpreter settings so we will click on this which will open up a new pop-up window like this and here this python interpreter would be selected already and now we will click on this drop down of python interpreter where you will see all the python interpreters which are available in our system and you can choose anyone among them which is suitable for your project and then finally you need to click on this apply and ok that will resolve the issue of no interpreter but in case you do not have any interpreter in this list like me then we will click on this add interpreter option here then we will click on this add local interpreter and that will open up a new pop-up window for us and here in the left panel we will see couple of options through which we can create new interpreters and by default this first option would be selected and if we go ahead with this option then it will create a new virtual environment dedicatedly for this particular project which will also include one python executable file that can be used as the python interpreter by this particular project and by the way this option is the recommended one because we should have a separate virtual environment for each of the python project to avoid any dependency conflicts so we will click on this new here if it is not selected already and from this base interpreter option we will select the python version whichever we want to use for the current project so i will keep this 3.12 for now and at last when we click on this ok here that will create the virtual environment at this particular location although we can customize this path if we want but for now i will keep this as default now finally we will click on this ok here now you would notice that we have got this interpreter in this drop down which was not present earlier so we will keep this selected and here we will click on this apply and ok now that no interpreter is gone from here and the created interpreter is selected already now if i run this code so for that we will right click and then say run hello so we have got the output successfully here now let's say for some reason if you do not want to create a new virtual environment for your project then you can also use the system interpreter so let me show you that thing also so again i will click here then select this interpreter settings then again we will click on this add interpreter and add local interpreter now here instead of the first option this virtual env environment we will select this system interpreter now from this drop down we can select any interpreter one thing to note here is that this particular interpreter is not specific to any project rather this is present at the global level in our system so from here you can select any interpreter whichever you want to use for your project so for now i will keep this 3.12 selected and finally i will click on ok here so this has added one more interpreter in this drop down so we can see this one is added recently so you would see that now there are two interpreters the first one is this hello world project which we created in the last step and the second one is created just now and which is pointing to the system interpreter now we will keep this second one selected and finally we will click on this apply and ok so this time we are using the system interpreter which is not specific to the project now again if we run this code so right click and run hello so again we have got the desired output here so this way we can configure the python interpreter and fix our interpreter related errors in pycharm let me know in comments if this video was useful to you